Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens of Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to take a look inside uh, Warfighter, the World War II tactical combat card game by DVG. Uh, they were kind enough to uh, send me this copy for review, along with several of the expansion packs. So we're going to take a look at what's inside. Um, as you know, Warfighter, uh, the original, is a um, modern combat simulator, and this takes it back into World War II, which is a you know a genre that doesn't get enough love. And there are very few World War II games out there. Uh, actually, you know, obviously I'm kidding, but uh, uh, this makes me happy because I like the World War II uh, uh, genre a lot better uh, than the modern stuff. So um, anyway, I'm going to take a cloth shrink, see what's inside. Um, I did not get the one expansion I really would have liked, and that was the Foot Locker. Uh, considering um, they modified the footlocker from the modern version. You may have seen my post uh, about that, where the uh, original footlocker was, you know, he did a huge deep box with uh, um, a deep lid and deep bottom as very hard to get off. And so I modified it to have a smaller lid. And unfortunately, they did that. Uh, they did that with the new release as well. So it looks really good. So maybe I'll get one down the road. But we're going to see what comes inside Warfighter. First things first, we get the rule book. This is a thick, thick rule book. This has got the playbook in it too. It's 44 pages. Yeah, 44 pages. Uh, so, uh, and that is just going through the sample turn, it looks like. So uh, it's a pretty, Pretty intense rule book as always though it's a little you know medium-sized print so it's uh you know not going to be a, a tax form or anything like that a lot of uh a lot of good pictures diagrams examples very cool it looks a little uh I like the headings on the side here too really draw out what it is you're looking at um as you're reading it so you get the rule book you get the, oh, you get the mounted map, that's good. You get the mounted map, uh, map, playboard, uh, in the base game now. In the uh, original one, you got the paper mat in the in the base game, and then the mounted mat was an add-on uh, with the uh, footlock card, I believe. So, don't know, from what I've seen of it, it's pretty big. Still don't know if there's gonna be enough room for everything. That was one. That was one problem I had with even the uh, the mounted map, the revised map that they provided. Uh, let's open it up here off camera. I'll get it back out. Not sure how much we can show here. I guess I got a glare here from the lamp. Take that out a little bit. So it's pretty big. It's uh, three panels wide, two panels deep. Uh, Slots for the cards, different locations, uh, your mission card, um, work your way across. It's beautiful. Love the artwork on it. Um, obviously, with the modern one, it had um, you know the more radar uh, techno look to it, and this is you know, more analog, as is befitting a World War II game. All right, we've got a sheet of counters. We have. Let's see, this is Warfighter, sheet one of two, sheet two of two. These are nice, you got ammo, uh, probably hostiles, the hostile markers, uh, how many actions you get, bandages, the usual stuff, similar to the other. Nice and thick, nice and chunky, easy to punch out, good and thick. All right, so let's counter sheet one, counter sheet two. And now we've also got, well, we've got sheet one of two and sheet two of two. So these are different. So I'm thinking maybe originally they were attached and then they put them, took them apart for the box. I have no idea. All I know is this now says sheet two of two backside. Yeah. Do not know. Do not know the numbering. Numbering is kind of off, but. Uh, but you get four sheets of counters, basically. Enemy killed in action. 
Let these go on the cards when there's multiple enemies on a card. Grenades, smoke grenades, timers. Very cool. We've got our keyword reference chart, which is always helpful because the cards have keywords on them and you want to be able to look them up. Very nice, glossy card stock. Uh, pretty thick, fold on it. A little creased, could be a little better. Probably just a factory issue, but kind of straighten that out there. Who cares? It's going to get a lot more wear from me than it, than it did in the box. So Nice, nice quick reference there. And we've got, oh, we've got real dice. They're real dice. They're not bullet dice. They're real dice. So you get three ten-sided, one six-sided with numbers. I always found it interesting that six-sided we tend to keep with pips and all the others go to numbers. But then these look weird with numbers. Never understood it. But there they are, they work. They actually roll and they're not shaped like little bullets. Thank you, Dan Verson. Thank you, Dan Verson. Thank you, Dan Verson. All right, so we'll put those away. And we got our decks of cards. The artwork on these is really great. Really, really cool. Um, I'm getting, getting like a massive glare. I'm gonna try to bring that out there a little bit. So you're not getting blind in there. Sorry about that. Trying to open one of these up. So there's five decks of cards in the base box. So again, without reading the rules, for those of you who've never played the original, you know, you're not gonna understand what's on here. Um, We've got is your action deck. These are the ones you're going to draw into your hand and play. Location markers are great because now you can, uh, depending on where you're doing your, your battle, uh, you can have location cards as a separate deck. Then you don't have to remove the location markers from your action deck. You can, when you get one of those, you swap it out for the next one and the other. It used to be a pain to, to have to uh, uh, shuffle in your locations all the time and pull locations out and put new locations in. That's why you just use the markers. Uh, that was something they added in the um, in the Foot Locker expansion uh, for the original game. And it's good to see that's carried forward here. And we got event cards that happen. You move the timer one space forward and pay two experience to heal a wound on each soldier. Oh, that's cool. So we got the events, German hostels. That's front line. Again, without reading the rules, we're not going to know a whole lot about what all this actually means. Uh, this is a half track. Uh, it's got its attack information. It's got, it takes two wounds to kill it. Two enemy guys, an enemy rifleman. The cards are very nice. Uh, standard. Uh, slick uh, cardstock, poker size. Um, I'm not gonna, I won't sleeve them. I used to sleeve, I don't sleeve anymore. Let's get to some of our, this looks like our soldiers. Let's get to these guys. If you're a veteran and watching this, thank you for your service as always. And, uh, if you're a veteran of World War II and watching this, wow, really thank you. All right, so we have Fernandez, DeLay, Yandi, McDougal, Bailey, Kaczynski, Pacheco, Scanlon, Walsh, Harmon, it's non player soldiers now, Allen, squad soldiers, Mitchell, Owen, Smith, Little. Good handful of soldiers here. Uh, mission cards. So we have the European theater. It's got a mission card here for Europe. Let's flip these over. So we got more action cards. So these are the location cards for Europe. So you would uh, you would shuffle 
your location cards up, right? But then when you get a location card out of the action deck, then you draw one of these guys. And this tells you the, the terrain you're about to enter and what's going on, how many baddies are in there. The objectives in Europe. So I'm not sure I do. I'm not remembering those from the uh, from the original game. So we've got missions and objectives. No, no, you had missions. That was the end, like the end location. That's right. Sorry, old guy, bad memory. So this tells you the mission, what you're able to do, your resources, the amount of time you've got, and what your objective number is. So objective number eleven uh, would be your objective. And we'll pull this out. In some way, there's going to be objective 11 somewhere. The objectives. Anyway, I'm not going to go through the rest of them. They're good quality. Good quality cards. Uh, probably hold up to a lot of wear. I like the light, the light brown on them. So that is what you get in the in the base set. There's five decks of cards. The cards for the base set are sorted here into five decks. Um, Looks like the box may be a little deeper than the original, but without a measure, I'm not sure. Um, so you may be able to fit more in the box. Box here, I'll just sort those later. So you get that, you get the keyword instructions, you get four sheets of counters, you get a rule book, a mounted board, four real dice that are shaped like bullets. So that's what you get in the base game. And there's also expansions, uh, there's several of these expansions. I have five of them. So I have, let's see, I have expansion four, two, one, and three. So I have the United States, United Kingdom, Germany, and gear, which will add more uh, equipment. And then these are uh, forces, probably locations, let's see. Uh, 56 cards to your loadout. The expansion gives you new soldiers, equipment, weapons, and hostiles. So you must have the base game to get these, obviously. But I like that they're in regular uh, top boxes. Now the others, because the other expansions came with uh, bullet dice and miniatures, they were expanded a little taller than this. So these are nice that they come in regular size. I also got a set here, token backs. And this is expansion number 13. It's 20 custom wound ammo experience and grenade tokens. So I'm going to assume maybe five of each, although they look even more ammo in there than everything else. So these are very nice uh, metallic tokens that you would use in places of the cardboard counters. So this is the proper use for bullets here. So you can get where you can see it. There's little bullets. And, um, Stars for experience. These are nice to them. Grenades. These are really nice. This is a this is a much better uh, expansion, I think, than some of the ones that came with the uh, from the original game. So, anyway, that is what you're going to get in Warfighter, the World War II tactical combat card game. Can't wait to get the rules read and get some broken out. Do some do some German busting. So anyway, thanks for watching.